Sure, so what we did is we looked at patients with HPV positive oral pharynx cancer and wanted to determine how and when their recurrences were detected. And we thought that was a really important point to look at, especially with the rise of HPV positive cancers being diagnosed, as well as the increase in survival and decrease in toxicity. It, was a, it could be a big problem of how are we following our patients. And if you look at our guidelines or the NCCN guidelines, it's a one size fits all. So whether you're HPV associated or HPV unassociated malignancies, the follow-up recommendations are the same. And so we looked at our patients. We had 246 patients, um, all with P16 positive or HPV positive oral pharynx cancer and determined you know, what the outcomes were. So we looked at our local recurrences and we found after a three year local um, control rate of 97%, so really good local control. We also looked at how many failures there were and how they were detected. So there was a total of six failures and all of them, so 100% of the failures were noted by physical examination. So whether it was direct visualization or um, laryngoscopy. We next looked at our regional recurrences and we found a 97% <laughs> regional control rate. And we found that the majority of those patients were detected by symptoms, so patient presented with a neck mass or on their three month post imaging um, scan. Um, I should say that our protocol at our institution is all patients get a three month pe PET CT scan post treatment. And if that's negative, we just follow them clinically. We do um, see patients for physical examination every three months for the first year, every four months for year two, and then every six months, year three through five, then annually. Um, so we did look at that regional recurrence risk and found most of them were detected on that either three month PET CT or based on the neck mass or presenting symptoms. Um, and we found that majority of these local and regional and distant recurrences happened within the first six months post-treatment. So that's really when the follow-up is really important for these patients. Now we looked at the distant failure and again, our distant control rate was 91%. So also really high control rate. Um, and again, it was very similar to the regional control. We found that based on symptoms and or that three month PET CT scan. And so we kind of got some guidelines to kind of go by that in these HPV positive patients, we can really, you know, determine what the follow-up should be and what type of imaging or lack of imaging, I should say, without compromising outcomes. And so we found that the first six months were important. And if that PET-CT scan was negative and the patient was asymptomatic, we didn't need to do any more further imaging.